For the first time, the researchers have achieved superconductivity at room temperature. A major new milestone has just been achieved in the quest for superconductivity. The physicists have achieved the resistant free flow of an electrical current at room temperature, a positively balmy 15 degrees Celsius, that is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. This has smashed the previous record of 23, minus 23 degrees Celsius, that is minus 9.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and has brought the prospect of functional superconductivity a huge step forward. Because of the limits of the low temperature materials with such extraordinary properties have not quite transformed the world in the way that many might have imagined. However, the discovery will break down these barriers and open the door to many potential applications. The physics of Renga Dias of University of Rochester said in the press statement. Superconductivity was first discovered in 1911. It consists of two key properties. The first is zero resistance. Usually the flow of an electric current encounters some degree of resistance. A bit how air resistance pushes back on a moving object. The higher the conductivity of a material, the less electrical resistance it has and the current can flow more freely. The second is some, something called Meissner effect in which the magnetic fields of the superconducting materials are expelled. The potential applications of superconductivity could revolutionize our world. That is from maglev transportation to data transfer to lossless power grids. Superconducting materials are usually only created and maintained at extremely low temperatures, way below those found in nature. Keeping these materials at these temperatures is difficult and expensive, and this has proven a practical barrier to broader implementation. Recently, the physicists have found success in raising the temperature in lightweight elements such as hydrogen sulfide and lanthanum hydride. The common element here there is hydrogen, the lightest element in nature. The next step in the research will try to reduce the high pressure needed by tuning the chemical composition of the sample. If they can get their mix right, the researchers believe a room temperature ambient pressure superconductor will finally be within our grasp. Thanks for watching and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel and click on the notification bell icon for the next video.